Hey everyone, I hope you're all well, having a good day. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. We are in the Ultra Series and we kicked off this week continuing on with the Reindeer team that you can see on the screen in front of you now. Just to give you guys a quick recap of the team, we've got the Kyogre, the Tornadus, Swampert, which is the Mega of the team, Mega Swampert, um, the Xerneas, Incineroar, and the Ferrothorn. Now, like I said at the beginning of the week, we'll probably change things up, and tomorrow we're going to have a few suggestions from you guys to end up the week and take us into the weekend before we come back with a brand new team next week. So if you've got any suggestions on what you'd like to see next week, I've already said that I'll probably play my Bristol regional team. So if you guys would like to see that next week, then do let me know. If not, there's other calls that you'd like to see featured going forward in the Ultra Series. Just leave a comment down below and I will make sure to feature as many of them as possible. So getting into today's episode. As always, the team is down in the description below. There's a roll paste, a poker paste. Try it out, take it away, and let me know what you think about it. But without further ado, I guess it's time just to get into the episode. So I guess it's probably good if we pump some music up. And uh, we probably want to get over to our, to our correct screen. So rating's not too bad, just under 1,700. Hopefully we can creep above that by the end of the week. It would be pretty nice if we can. Um, and we will try our best. Let's kick off with Elite Four today. I um, have a couple of episodes today with this team. I really like it, to be honest. Like The Mega Swamper is like putting in a lot of work. We had a great suggestion earlier in the week, and it was something I was thinking about, replacing Earthquake with Stunt and Tantrum, and um, we had it in our last episode. It did super well, um, so hopefully that continues on, but it's been really fun, and as always, guys, just a little reminder, as always, if you do enjoy this content, make sure to leave a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel and uh, leave your comments down below. We've got a good friend, fellow Flinch Squad member, Luigi. So this is going to be a, a treat for us all. So I'm just going to hop over into Team Preview and we'll go through that right now. Okay, so we've got Luigi. He is playing a team of Xerneas, Requaza, Cartana, Tepu Fini, Crobat, and Incineroar. So really solid XY core that we've uh, seen do really well recently in the Ultra Series. And for good reason, you've got the Requaza there, kind of denies the weather. And then the Xerneas is the other restricted there that just gets set up and rips through teams. You've got the Crobat going to be the speed control on this team, potentially. Cortana, and you've got to look at the type of Finney as another mode of speed control with the icy wind. It's probably got haze as well to prevent things getting set up on our side of the field. And then the Incineroar with fake out support, obviously, and intimidate support as well. So I'd imagine we'll probably see the Incineroar come out for my opponent. Now, what we want to do is make things as hard as possible because I want to utilize Tornadus. But if they bring the Incineroar, I do want to bring the Kyogre. Um, I think we definitely need Incineroar in this match. And it's what we bring as our last Pokemon. Do we want the Ferrothorn? Ferrothorn does a really nice job against the majority of this team, except the Incineroar and the Cortana. Um, and I think I do want to bring it, you know. I do. I think we'll utilize our Tailwind support. We're going to have to really utilize um, Kyogre the best of our abilities here to deal with the majority of things like the the Rayquaza but I think we should be all right like Tornadus has a big role to play in this game shutting down the Crobat and like I say what I want to do is limit my opponent's options if they leave the Incineroar Crobat here so yeah they can fake out Tornadus deny us that Tailwind but if they do that then they have to take a water spout and they lose Incineroar which frees up our Ferrothorn um, so instantly, already going into this match, we're thinking about that. And that's what you've got to, got to do in this format. You've got to think about what you can do to deny your opponent ways around them shutting you down. And if they do shut you down, you've got to try and punish them. So, Pokemon 101. Anyway, we're going to see the Incineroar and Crobat like we thought. So that's, that's a good start for us. And I will go for a taunt into that Crobat straight away just to deny it been able to do anything set up a tailwind or anything like that and I am gonna go for the do we got origin pulse or water spout because I feel like they might call mm. ah they might call us doing this and, and super fine into the the uh, the Kyogre um, and our water spout wouldn't be doing as much damage um, I'm just gonna water spout I think they try for the tailwind if they fake out Tornadus, which they do. 
Ooh. Oh, cheeky taunt into our tornado, shutting us down. That's a nice play, but they do in turn take that water spout, which, you know, um, the thing is, though, now it gets a little bit tricky because the Xerneas probably comes in for that incineral. Um, which isn't the worst thing in the world because we still got, we've still got access to Origin Pulse, so at worst, if the Xerneas... Oh, that's the Rayquaza. The Ray comes into the field comes into the mix. Now we could pull a double switch here. We could do. We could just origin pulse and switch into incineral. Hmm. Because the intimidate will be very useful for us. Um I might do that. I might just bring in incineral and I think I might just go protect here onto Kyogre. Because we don't want to take a super fine dragon ascent. The worst thing here would be if that Rayquaza goes for a soul to dance though. Uh, that would be pretty bad for us, but we'll see what my opponent does. I think I'd be tempted to go super fine Dragon Ascent into the Kyogre. I don't want I wouldn't want to leave my Rayquaza in front of a Kyogre that could just ice beam me without kind of punishing that that play. So we're gonna see the Ray Mega evolve. Okay. And it will get rid of our rain. What are we going to see? Let's see. So, protect on our side of the field. Super Fang. Ooh, they're targeting into the Incineral slot. That's smart. And Dragon Ascent there. Okay. That's fine. Now, normally, you wouldn't want to fake out into a Crobat because it's got inner focus. But because it's so low health and fake out is a priority attack, we do want to go that way, I think. Um, and I am just going to Ice Beam the Rayquaza. If it does decide to Dragon Ascent, then it will take a ton of damage. Crobat doing the smart thing and Cortana hitting the field now. Okay, that's fine. Fake out. Break potential. Well, it's not Sashed, is it? It's not going to be Sashed. Earth Power. Ooh. Okay, doesn't want to take the, the Dragon Ascent drop, but we take that pretty nicely, get a nice beam off. It is going to be weakened by the Delta Stream, but at the same time, it's not the worst. Okay, so it's not um, the Xerneas, which is good to know. Now, we need to preserve Incineral. Um, hmm. I might have to sack Tornadus, and I think I might bring in Ferrothorn as well for Kyogre, so we can get it back in, get our rain up. Um, we might lose <coughs> our Tornadus here, but the one thing that we've got to keep in mind is that we want to try and intimidate this Cortana. We want to try and put this Rayquaza down to minus two as well. There's a Leaf Blade. Yeah. And Ferrothorn will take that pretty comfortably. And we'll probably see a Dragon Ascent into the Tornadus. Oh! An Earth Power, that's even better for us, to be honest, because now we get the Tailwind up. Um, although the other thing is, what we could potentially do is Hurricane into the Cartana slot. It's got to feel threatened right now, though. It really does. My opponent's got a Crobat in the back, but it's a good time for us just to actually Tailwind. And, hmm. I might, hmm. Do we sack Incineral here? I think it might be worth sacking Incineral. Because I'd imagine the Cartana probably Sacred Swords or Fight TMZs into the Incineral slot, which was the Ferrothorn to get rid of it. Which I don't really mind too much. As long as we get a Tailwind up, we get Kyogre back in, and we got Tornadus Kyogre in Tailwind, and I don't feel like there's very much my opponent can do at that point. There's a Z move. Boosh, boosh, boosh. So it's going to be the fight team Z. It's tending to be the thing that players are running on Cartana at the minute. So just make sure you're aware of it when you do come up against it in battle, my friends. And the Cartana is going to get rid of its beast boost, which is not ideal. But at the same time, as long as Tornado sticks around, it's it's all right. That requires minus two at the minute, so it's not really putting too much pressure on to um, a Tornadus. Tornadus will be able to deal with Cartana. There's a Dragon Ascent. Okay. Can Tornadus just stay out of extreme speed range? That's the thing. I don't know if we can. Ah, oh, I don't know. It's 
going to be very, very close. <laughs> very close. Okay, we'll bring in Kyoga. Cortana will go down to a water spout. No doubt about it. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just water spout and we will... Uh, do we hurricane? It requires a... Because one thing I could see happening is... Um, the, the requires a switching out to the Crobat. Potentially to come back in and get the, the Delta Stream, get rid of the boost, get rid of the drops and things like that. So that's something they could do. I will hurricane into the Cartana and I'm just going to water spout as well. But I... I probably see the, the Rayquaza, yeah, going out. Cartana will protect. It would make a lot of sense. There's not really too much else we can do here, yeah. So, and then the Ray comes and gets its its Delta Stream back up. But, but we do have, uh, we can't get the role play. That's the only thing. Hmm. And we need the role play. It's just we won't get the role play because they'll get extreme speed before we can role play. It would make sense because a Delta stream, if Hurricane was 100% accurate, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, okay, we've got two turns of Tailwind left. Do we go Hurricane into Cartana? And. Um, hmm. I think we've got to take advantage of this turn because, like, the one thing I'm going to try and double into Cartana and hope that an ice beam's enough to take the Cartana down. Right, extreme speed. Yeah, that makes sense. It's all about whether or not our ice beam can take down this Cartana or not. Hopefully, it is enough. Oh, it's not enough. It's not enough. Nah. And I don't think we can win now. Nah. We really needed that. And, like, Luigi's played that really nicely. Um, managing the board position to get the Rayquaza back in. Um, and I kind of... Losing the Incineroar, our options are kind of limited there. <sighs> Maybe we could have switched out Tornadus to Ferrothorn. Protected Kyogre. It's just that that situation you kind of want to take advantage of your Tailwind because you've only got so many Tailwind turns left. Um, but let's see if we can do something here with Ferrothorn. I mean, hmm, there's, there's, there's no chance. There is no chance. Poor Ferrothorn is done for. Sacred Sword. There we go. Yeah. And very good game to Luigi. So, overcoming. The Swampert squad, but that's that's fine. Interesting that the Cartana outsped the uh, the Rayquaza there as well. But very good game to Luigi. Very well played. And nice to feature you on the channel, my friend. As I say, he is one of the the patrons and a Flinch squad circuit player. So we will be featuring him, I'm sure, in weeks to come. And uh, always nice to play him. So we will move on. And hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our next opponent. If it does, of course, guys. I will, uh, I'll cut this out and we'll come straight back to when we do bump into someone. And we've got our next opponent of the episode, so let's hop straight into Team Preview. Okay, our next opponent today is running a team of Gyarados, Incineroar, Xerneas, Groudon, Nihiligo, and Minetric. So you've got to imagine... Well, it could be two Megas on this team. You could have Mega Gyarados uh, and Mega Manetric. Now, Gyarados doesn't fit so well with Groudon because of obviously it's water typing. It's kind of conflicted with the um, Desolate Land ability on the Groudon, but we've got the restricted pair of Xerneas and Groudon. It's a, a nice combination we've seen do so well this year in the Ultra Series, but a lot of different supporting members here. You've got the Nihiligo, which has been doing super well recently. Uh, Mega Manetric is an interesting one if it is Mega Manetric, and then the Incineroar there with the support, Fake Out, and Intimidate. Right. What are we going to do here? Hmm. Tornadus is definitely good. Um, Swampert Kyogre could be decent. I mean, I could. 
I'm kind of tempted to go Swampert, Incineroar. The Intimidator is going to be good. Swampert puts pressure on the Nilego. Um, we prob the thing is though, I really need Tornadus, don't I? Because Tornadus, yeah. Let's go Tornadus, Kyogre, and ooh, Ferrothorn, Ferrothorn. Should we go Ferrothorn? Ferrothorn's pretty good if we can keep the rain up, which uh, we'll have to be confident that we can do that. I just feel like Ferrothorn's so good against the majority of this team, like the Nilego, Xerneas, Gyarados. Mega Gyarados. Um, the rest of the team kind of threatened it a little bit, but like I say, if we can keep the rain up, then it's not so bad. So lead off with Tornadus and a Swampert, and we'll see Incineroar and Xerneas come up for my opponent. Okay. Now the problem here is if we led the Incineroar with the Tornadus, we can trade Fake Out turn one and then Taunt the next turn, which we can't really do now. Which is a little bit frustrating. But what we could potentially do is go into... I think we could go into Kyogre and just waterfall the Xerneas. Just kind of would like to get Ferrothorn on the field. That's the only thing. Um, let's go into Ferrothorn here. And let's go Mega Revolve and go waterfall into... Um, how do we... Um, yeah, let's waterfall. There's no way we outspeed the Xerneas, so I doubt there's a flinch chance. But then the next turn we can switch in Kyogre, potentially. <sighs> because the fake out comes out into the Tornadoes for sure. But we've got to time it right, so we don't bring Kyogre in until the Groudon hits the field. There's a Geomancy. And I think the next turn you probably protect Xerneas. And you turn out with Incineroar. Wow, that did like nothing. Minus one, no rain up. Wow. Waza. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so we could double protect here just to deny. Hmm. Or we actually just attack into the Incineroar here and protect Ferrothorn. Or allow the Groudon, like, allow the Groudon to come in. Let's go for the Incineroar. I, I think it U turns. Let's get some damage onto it. No protect from the Xerneas. Wow, I could have just. Protected Swampert and attacked. But then, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Now the problem is, yeah, I've got to, I kind of have to bring Kyogre in. Things are going from bad to worse now. <clears throat> I can't believe. We could have just made that play. It seems so obvious, but I mean, fair play to my opponent. Wow. Right, let's see about this. We'll gyro ball into the Xerneas for sure. Uh, and we have to switch Kyogre straight out, because the Groudon comes straight back onto the field. Um, now, if you're in Cinero, I think you probably... You turn out. Well, you might go for a Flare Blitz, thinking that you can take down the Kyogre with... Okay. I'll we'll probably see a U-turn. Yeah. And in comes the Groudon, I would imagine. It's just whether or not... Ferrothorn can take a Moonblast Precipice Blades without any Intimidate support from our end. Hmm. 
Let's see. So my opponent just thinking about what they're wanting to do here. But I imagine it's going to be the Groudon. It's got to be the Groudon. Come on, dude. Let's go. You've only got like three, well, two choices. There's a Groudon. Pity we haven't got leftovers on Ferrothorn, because right now, that would be pretty handy. They've got to know that... I mean, do we Tailwind and Protect here? Nah. I think we have to just switch in. We have to switch in Kyogre. So I'm not feeling massively confident about Ferrothorn taking this. But, we'll see. If we can get rid of the Xerneas and still have Kyogre in a decent shape, then I think we might be alright. We might be. Moonblast, where are you going? Into Kyogre. You're a madman, Eruption. You're a madman. I don't understand this. Okay. So... It's definitely not over. But what we probably need to do is try and manoeuvre Tornadus in. So we could get... I wonder if we could get a cheeky Leech Seed onto the Incineroar. Because I feel like the Groudon probably... Well, the Groudon might not switch out. It's just, if the Groudon goes for... Hmm... Because the other option I've got is switch Ferrothorn out into Tornadus. Protect Kyogre so the rain's up. It's fine. Next turn we get a Tailwind up. But the problem is then I can't protect Kyogre. So I'd have to switch in Ferrothorn, sack it to get Kyogre back in. And then we're kind of good to go. And to be honest, that might be the better way to do things here. So let's, let's try that. It's just whether or not the Groudon switches out. It's not going to. It's going to go for an Earth Power, I think. Oh, it's gone P-Blades. And you turn into that slot as well. Okay. Um. Yeah, we've just got a Tailwind now. And... Yeah, Sack. Sack off, Olga. The Incineroar definitely U turns out, though. But we can still pull ourselves back into this. Just as I got him, goes for like an eruption now, thinking he's gonna switch it out. There's the Earth Power. Okay. Problem is, we really, we really need Ferrothorn to go down here. That's, that's what we need. We don't need that. Ah. <sighs> okay. Because I don't know if there's a safe way for us to get a Kyogre back in now. Hmm. Because we can gyrable the Nilego. It's just I can't switch Kyogre in right now. Or, oh, can I? Oh, can I? No, I can't. It's too low health to switch in. I've got to sack something. So I'll go for the Hurricane into Groudon. I'll go for the gyrable into the Nilego. But Ferrothorn's still going to underspeed the Groudon. So it's whether or not the Groudon attacks. The eruption. Okay. And we might be alright then. Maybe. <sighs> Tornado still has its sash, so we're alright there. Hurricane actually hits, which is perfect. Now, if we can get rid of this Nilego, uh, 
Okay, Continental Crush. If we can get rid of the Nilego now, we can lock the weather more. It's just the only problem is Tornadoes can't avoid a fake out. But then the Groudon can't really touch us. We know it's got a Power Presbus Blades eruption. Yeah, so there's a Sash. Jarable. Oh, we just missed out the kill there. Hmm. How many turns of Tailwind have we got left? Two. <laughs> we need to lose something right now. Um, this is the yeah, I don't think we can do anything. I think you fake out the Tornadus. And then we could, we get our weather back in, but then it's too late then. The, hmm. the only thing I think you could do is maybe fake out Kyogre. So if we go that way and then go Jarable into the, the, the Nihiligo. And then maybe we can switch back out to Tornadus to sack it. And then get Kyogre back on the field finally. But I don't know. I'd still say the Groudon's probably faster than our Kyogre. There's a fake out. Yep. Hidden power. It doesn't work. We get the gyro ball. Okay, so there's still hope for us here. Hidden power fire. Nile go. <laughs> Hardcore. Okay. Now did we just sa hmm. Ah, it's like we need the tailwind. We need the tailwind. We can't do this without the tailwind. And I think you just eruption here. Because we've got one turn left now and it's no good. It's no good to us right now. Hmm. See, we could protect. Kyogre. And we could go for a Leech Seed into the Groudon. Because then we get Tornadus in if Ferrothorn falls. We can roll play. And then Origin Pulse. And hope we see an eruption. And the only way we win this is by my opponent just being like, right, well, eruption, we'll get both of them. We don't need to worry about it. I can get rid of the tornadoes. And if that Groudon decides to go eruption, we can win with an origin pulse. So we gotta try. We got to try. If they got Earth Power, then it's done. We're done for. We're done. So we'll go role play. Let's try. Let's hope you got eruption, my friend. Click that eruption button, please. Click the eruption button. <laughs> oh, come on. So tense. Primordial Sea. Come on, eruption, please. Yes. Come on, hit. <laughs> oh, yes. Come on, Kyogre. Whale to the rescue. Here we go. Very good game to my opponent. <laughs> What a way to finish the episode. So that is awesome. Man, finest margins. Finest margins. And this is why it'll only work in best of one. You wouldn't be able to catch your opponent out in a best of three like this. But I've been saying this all week with the role play. But it is very nice. And it's been a nice episode. We had Luigi game one. We had this great game game two so we ended up with with a nice with a nice victory as well to kick us off and uh, finish up this build of the team because tomorrow do not miss it guys we're going to be back with some suggestions from you guys with a really fun variation of this team to finish us off before going into a new team next week so i will just say thank you so much for tuning in guys i hope you enjoyed today's episode have a great rest of your day and i will see you for the next one so until then take care and bye bye